to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cut this shot. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. I'm joined by... Brian, Brian Peacock. You got it that time. I did. And we're I'm joined funny. once again by Jeremy, the coach, not Coachman Brooks. That's it. That's it. <laughs> the best coach of them all. That's right. <laughs> so, did you guys hear uh, the VOD villains are no more? Yeah. I guess so. That's really sad. That is really sad, you know? I like, I like that gimmick. It was pretty cool. You know, just come out with a black and white screen and... You yeah. Know, that, that was awesome. It's, it's sad to see them break up like that and go. Did they get to do that a whole lot on the main roster? I mean, they got to do it enough, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I really didn't see them on the main roster though that much. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at. Like, I just thought about that, yeah. I thought they did. I thought they, I mean, they did it enough. Right. Apparently not enough to get over. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, that's true. So, Simon Gotch is gone. Yes. Now, Aiden, Aiden English? Is yeah. That He's still around, right? He's been around forever. Yeah. Yeah. He's just never going away. Well, he's good though. He's re- I think he he's is. better than Simon Gotch. He is. Uh, Amy English is an incredible promo. He's an incredible worker. He's he's like he's been around forever because he's so good. Right. Right. But um, this is this is the problem I have with some wrestling fans. It's like we want something different. Here's something different. Fuck that. Yeah. All right. Did they were they really that hated? Hmm? Were the VOD villains hated that? I don't think they're hated. They just they were just, lukewarm. A lot of people just, yeah. Yeah. I mean, every time I went to, uh, I mean, our local shows. <clears throat> right. They were, um, I mean, everyone seemed to love them at the NXT shows. Them and uh, 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 Tyler Breeze are prime examples of NXT guys that, for some reason, have not worked on the main roster. Tyler Breeze should. Yeah, he's great. Like, that gimmick yeah, should that. be main roster material. He is so good. And he's good, yeah. I don't, I don't know what their they plan is for him right now, but it's not working. Fashion police? Like, come oh, on now. Fandango. Yeah. yeah that, that's, that crap is not working for him. It's like freaking the, uh, what's them boys from back in the day they used to face off with like Dudley Boys and all that shit. Uh, Rico. Oh. Rico, the fashion designer and shit like that. Oh, they yeah. made that work. Yeah. Um, Back then, when that shit right now, they do it ain't gonna work now. I thought you were going with Billy and Chuck. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't wanna touch that one. Oh, that's not. Who you, I hope not. <laughs> oh, that's who you were talking about. No, no, the, no. Uh, well, Rico was with them. Okay. All right, but yeah, well, I, guess I don't I was, remember. Maybe I was going wrong with the Billy and Chuck. I just didn't want to say Billy and Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that gimmick was awesome. It Billy was. and Chuck gimmick. Yeah, I loved it. It, it, was, it, it was. turned out like everyone thought they were gay. They're like, we're not gay. That guy, <laughs> you know, it was. That was a good game, but Tom Breeze is a is a hell of a wrestler. Yeah, he's good with the mic. You know, good with the selfie stick. Right. You know, who does that? You know. Yeah. He is the reason why fuckers got these selfie sticks all around this son bitch. <laughs> I guess uh, Zima Ion's using a, a selfie stick now. Who? Zima Ion, DJ Z, mm. from TNA. You're not familiar with Zima Ion? Nope. He's pretty awesome. Definitely not. He's a uh, he's one of the best parts of TNA. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Yeah, he just recently, like, at a show, got slammed or something funny, and, like, something happened with his cold and got rushed to the emergency room and had surgery. Oh, snap. Yeah. Damn. That's the Shit yeah, happens. He, he's pretty yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, it, not all these NXT guys do well. No. Yeah. No. I mean, they might, I guess they <clears throat> might just work on a small scale. Some things do. Some things are better, you know, left. In armories and gyms. Yeah, I guess. And you know what, though? Ain't really nothing wrong with that. No. You know? At least you're getting your time. Yeah. Instead of waiting behind somebody, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know, if, if they gave me a choice to where, all right, you can go up to the roster, but you got to wait, or you can go on any circuit and do your thing, I'm going to any circuit. Yeah. I'm oh, that was Cody Rhodes' attitude. Yeah. Yeah, Tony I'm, Rhodes and Drew Galloway. And I'm, I'm, I'm fighting the armories and gyms off. Of I don't give a shit. You know, I'm getting my product out there. Ryback, as for his release. Right. You little bitch, though. I love Ryback. He's talking too much. 
I still wish when Goldberg came back, people would have chanted, Right back, right back. What if Ryback was still there? You think they would have yeah, gave uh, Goldberg a chance? Yeah, wrestling fans have short term memory. Yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah, that is true. I'll give you that one, Jacob. That is true. I hate Goldberg, by the way. You hate Goldberg? I hate yeah. Goldberg. So do I. No. I don't like them in WCW. See, I was never a WCW guy. See, I'm, my mom, we, we flipped back and forth, so I had to watch it. <laughs> and one thing that made me mad about WCW, they ruined Goldberg towards the end of their run. You know, went in there, spit, smoked, put the power in his mouth, shoot out his ass, <laughs> jackhammer, spear, fuck off, go back in the locker yeah. room. Yeah. That was pretty badass back then, but then they started, you know. They tailored him. Yeah, they started getting, like, handcuffed him and shit like that. It's like, what the fuck is going on? You know, it kind of threw him off a little bit. And now, you know, he's what they call now a part-time wrestler. Well, he's done now. I heard he's coming back. Well, he said he'll come back one day. You know, that, if, you, if you're going to leave, just fucking leave. Let yeah. someone else get the glory. Yeah. And, uh, like, from what I've heard, he's, uh, he doesn't really respect the business. Like it's like something that he he does because he can do it. I thought he wasn't gonna come back because of the aspect. Yeah. You know did what? you did you see the promo? He cut in the ring and then he was bleeding for no reason. Mm-hmm. That was funny as hell. Mm-hmm. He head butted a locker. That's good work for you. Yeah, I guess so. But you know, it's like with Brock Lesnar. You know, at, you know, at many, I think everybody knew what was gonna happen. You know, he had that feel in the air that Brock Lesnar Le- was going to win. I mean, it sure helped. You know, but now you see that we're not going to see Brock for a while. Yeah, it's kind of his MO. It's pissing me off with it. You know, I hate you win a championship. Oh, go on vacation. Yeah. Why? What is that going to do for the sport of wrestling? It's the same thing they did with Andre the Giant way back in the day. He's an attraction. Right. That's why people buy tickets to see him. Oh, Brock's going to be at the show? I bet you their tickets go up. Oh, hell yeah. So that's why. I mean, it's, it's basically business. You that's know, it. It's just, if you're going to give somebody the belt, at least, well, you know, John Cena said, I'm a fighting champion. Yeah. Yeah. I respect that of John Cena. So, yeah, but then you got guys like Cena who are the fighting champion. That's their gimmick. Brock, who's the attraction, and he only shows up occasionally. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. There has to be, there has to be different people. You are. It goes back to my point of, you know, everybody hates the big show because he's boring. Well, if we had a bunch of Daniel Bryans, wrestling would be stupid. I agree. I give you that. If we just had Daniel Bryan going at it, it'd be cool. Then it'd be like, ah, oh, this is the same shit every time. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't get old. Yeah. We need to hate stuff. Well, we need to hate heels. Right. We don't need to hate, you know, Goldberg coming back because he's really lame and stupid. And yeah, I don't like Goldberg. True, yeah. Too many yeah. cheers for heels. But yeah, and like, they brought that up on yeah. TV. We forgot to look this up. They said that, you know, these are not your normal crowd. People are going to boo for people they're not supposed to boo and cheer for people they're not supposed to cheer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's weird. I'm, I, yeah, but <laughs> at the same time, like, I, guys like Punk, I always cheered for. Right. Even when they were heels. Uh, I can't think of any re- recent memory. Uh... I guess Seth, to a certain point, Seth Rollins, I always cheer for. Are you talking about cheering for heels? Cheering for heels, yeah. Oh, Owens. Oh, yes, Kevin Owens, yes. Cheering for Owens for life. Which is why I was so surprised we did an episode on the uh, Pro Wrestling Illustrator Awards. Mm -hmm. He was voted legitimately most, like, hated, not the most. That was Roman, wasn't it? Yeah, Roman was first, but... Kevin was, like, two or three of, like, the most hated wrestlers. Which, to me, just means that he's doing a good job. Roman, they don't like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin Owens is incredible. It's a shame he'll never wrestle in front of more than 200 people. Yeah. yeah. Are you aware of Jim Cornette saying that? Yeah. Fucking asshole. Jim Cornette is fucking... I love Jim Cornette. <laughs> I, lo- I love to hate Jim Cornette. You look at that son of a bitch on YouTube and he just going crazy on that. You just fucking got to laugh. <laughs> that dude is... Fu- oh, he bring that shit from back in the day and... Oh my Did you God. hear about him being mad that they asked him to, to induct the rock and roll? No, I didn't hear about that. He was mad! Because he, they proved him wrong. They said, he'll they'll never invite me back. They'll never invite me back. And they invited him back. He's like, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, good. boy. 
I got that uh that uh WWE versus WCW Monday Night War DVD. And uh Jim Cornette got a little segment on the DVD. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, he just talks so much shit, you know. That's just, what he does. That's why I like him. You know, he he talking shit but he also talking the truth. About some aspect of it. Not saying, everything. So not, I, not everything, not everything. He's definitely lost a lot of touch. Well they all have. You know, all the old school damn yeah. stuff like that. But it just, it's something about, you know, like my favorite guy is Paul Heyman. Oh yeah. I fucking love Dude, Paul Heyman. I saw did you happen to see the interview he did at his hotel room right before Mania? Mm. Oh my god, he made me so legitimately mad at him. Uh-huh. Because they asked him, Are we gonna see the return of the Dangerous Alliance at WrestleMania? And I was like, That's a dumb question. Paul Hayes was like, Yes you will. And I'm like, What? Did he just did he just really announce that he's gonna make a new faction? And he's like me with the microphone and Brock with the belt. And I'm just like, fuck you, Paul. <laughs> like, God damn. And that's Paul Heyman. <laughs> oh my God, it made me mad. He did something else on like the pre-show or something. Yeah, the pre-show, yeah. They asked if he's going to have any more clients. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, yeah. you lovely ladies. <laughs> yeah, I remember, that. I remember that part right there. Yeah. He's such a pain in the ass. He is, yeah. but you know what? He He's done a lot for wrestling. Oh, oh yeah. You know, one thing... That I was arguing with somebody the other day about, you know, they was talking about Nate WCW and shit, and I was talking about ECW. And uh, they was talking about how Eric Bischoff brought the cruiserweights and all them shit. I was like, oh, right. bull fucking shit. No, he didn't. did it first. Heyman. Yeah. Heyman brought Jericho. Heyman got, well, Ron Simmons was already in WCW, but he went to ECW and got better. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Ron Simmons, he wrestled ECW. Uh, Guerrero. Guerrero, Guerrero, Guerrero yeah. did. Uh, Malenko, Ben yeah. Malenko wrestled in ECW. Benoit wrestled in uh, ECW. So uh, Rey, Rey Mysterio, Mysterio. Yeah. Psychosis, yeah, all of them oh, yeah. wrestled in ECW because you had the violence of ECW, mm-hmm. then you had the wrestling aspect mm-hmm. of ECW, and that's what ECW started getting hot. But then you know Eric Bischoff took the. Guerreros and the Jerichos and the credit, yeah, and, and the said, credit, yeah. And everybody said, "Oh, Bischoff brought full fucking shit." Look up the old video. Right, Paul right. Hammond, the fucking broke ass New Yorker, brought the motherfuckers in there. Now he up. may not have paid these guys either. Oh, he ain't paying what rice and noodles. That's what he gave. <laughs> have yeah. you watched Paul Hammond's documentary? Yes. What a fascinating man. His documentary. I know. Yeah, he I know. has a brain that's fucking phenomenal. Just the way he like. Like weaseled his way into uh, yeah. oh, what was the place in New York studio? Oh my god, it was like an art studio. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. It's like where when all the artists hung out, everything like Andy Warhol and all that kind of oh, stuff. Okay. Um, and then like the way he weaseled his way into WWE events and like became a photographer, and he was not a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> That's he, funny. He had the mouth and the mind. Yeah. They make you go out there and mutilate your body yeah. for only 20 bucks. Yeah. And they keep doing that. Every yeah. Time. He was a cult leader. He really was. <laughs> Pretty and much. He brought out, you know, like freaking Raven. Oh, he brought Raven. that Raven crap, uh, character out, and it was fucking awesome. I have, yeah. Speaking awesome. of great minds, though, Raven is a great mind in wrestling. I will give you that one. Yeah. I will give you that one. <laughs> Ravens. Ravens is one of my favorites, hand down. It, it's inside the ring and out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm only familiar with Raven from his uh, hardcore, hardcore championship stint with WWE. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When he had that. Yeah. The big show match. And All that stuff. Yeah. That was, he come down with the cart. Was he was really good then. That was yeah. He came out with a cart full of stuff. I would okay. love that. <laughs> He'd be sitting on top of the. the well, a lot of people realize Raven left ECW. They go to WCW, and it kind of killed him a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, yeah. He came back to ECW and got, you know, back up again, and that's when Mr. Man took him. Right. And all that. But, you know, it's, y'all, y'all got to go back and look at the, the history of that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, it's fucking phenomenal. You learn so much just sitting there and listening. It's happening again, though. Yeah. With, you know... Drew McIntyre going away and mm-hmm. coming back, and you know I'm sure Cody Rhodes will go away and come back, yeah, yeah. and uh, just you know Bobby Roode being a top guy at TNA forever, coming here AJ Styles, Finn, mm-hmm. that shit's happening again. Yeah, it's yeah. exciting. Yeah, 
Like, I swear, wrestling went into a goddamn coma for the longest time. Exactly, I agree with yeah. you on that one. And unfortunately, Cena was the face of it. You know, but <laughs> yeah. it's not his fault. Cena and Orton were the faces then, uh, which is why they get a lot of shit. But, yeah. yeah, wrestling just was mediocre then. Now, let me ask y'all this. Do you think in the horizon, would there be another promotion to compete? ROH. Oh, I want to say ROH. Hands down, ROH. If they could, if they were able to get their production yeah. value together and their continuity, that is probably Ring of Honor's biggest downfall. Is I, maybe I don't have cable TV. All right, maybe I don't get to watch their weekly show. I right? watch but some I, of that stuff. I watch it on Fight TV. It's usually out of order. Act. Right. They're more about the wrestling than the stories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like both. That's why I like WWE. Oh, speaking of Ring of Honor and WWE, did you see, um, did you know uh, Charlotte Flair when... Oh, God. I know what you're going to talk about. And Dalton Castle. Yes. Their, their, their quote-unquote feud on Twitter over the Peacock. It was like two tweets. Yeah, and it was, it was playful on both of those yeah. parts. But I, I saw Are you that familiar with Dalton Castle and the boys? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, uh, Charlotte. They they offered to be Charlotte's like escorts next time she comes out with that peacock outfit. Yeah. Right. Dalton Castle tweeted like, "I lose my championship and go come on to Twitter and see this shit." <laughs> <laughs> so I Charlotte we, said like, "It's not what it looks like." Yeah, which was great. Yeah. So I I like seeing that it was a very playful thing. It wasn't. I love that WWE lets stuff like that slide. They yeah. need to. They have to. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Unlike a certain organization that one person here is much more familiar with than we are with the NFL. Apparently, oh! Apparently the I NFL... I thought you were going for TNA. I'm like, you know what? No, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> apparently, uh, everyone refers to the NFL now as the no fun league. You know what? It's happening not just in the NFL. It's happening in college. Yeah. Now it's starting to happen in football now. Huh. They, the only thing from high school all the way to the NFL, doing work one thing, and that's money. Have yeah. you watched, oh my god, the thing on Netflix about the Trouble Kids? Yeah, uh, Last Chance You. Holy crap, that's good. I'm and, a casual football fan. And that and happens at every community college in America. Huh. Juco football is the last step for an athlete to get a chance to go back to the promised land. Huh. And the coach don't get paid enough, first of all. I was just talking to a Juco coach last night about some prospects in Orlando. They don't get paid enough to do their job because, first of all, it's like you're in a, a higher level high school. Working right. With kids like that. And, uh, you know, as a coach, it's hard for me to establish – the mindset of a kid to make them think, do you want to be like that fool in the NFL that don't give a shit and don't respect the game because they signed that dollar line and got their money? Right. Or do you want to go out there and respect the game and make a name for yourself the right way? Yeah. And that's kind of why they taking the fun of it because some people are taking advantage of it. Well, if you watch Ballers, yeah, they talk about that a lot yeah. in Ballers. Yeah. That's an excellent show. And so I'm, a, I'm, a, it. I'm a defensive yeah, coach. It. I'm a defensive coach, so and it's hard for me to like it because you can't even touch nobody on offense no more. You might as well just put flags and pom poms in fucking hands. Uh. You go out there, you know. <laughs> but you know that's football. We talking wrestling. Yeah. Fuck football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can talk about football in another podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get it done. Like you I said, know. I'm a casual football fan, and that, that last chance you, man, if you haven't seen that, go watch it. Uh, you see. know what? What a fast You don't have to watch. Last chance you will give you an inside scoop on what the business aspect of college yeah. football is. Hey, it's not, sad that there is one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it a documentary? Yeah. It's, it's a, a series. It's a series. series. It's yeah. a series. And it's, uh, it's called Mississippi, uh, you know, Mississippi University. Ah! It's a community college in Mississippi. Oh, okay. You know that in uh, Mississippi, Texas, uh, Louisiana, Kansas, California, the hotbeds of Juco yeah. football. Yeah. So you know, like like we say, if you got a chance, if you got Netflix, you do your Netflix and chill uh, regimen and watch some. I literally I turned it on because like I, I played football in middle school and high school and I yeah. was like I might like this. 
I didn't want to watch it. Five episodes later, I was like, man. I didn't want to watch it because I was worried. Yeah. yeah. But I watched it, and I loved it. It's like when they made that football movie called Concussion. It was that like good? I heard it was kind of bullshit. It was. It made sense at some point. But I was scared to watch it because I think the people that made that movie were trying to hurt the sport of football. Like, if if all the parents would actually watch that movie and agree with it, we would have no more football. So, I mean, well, yeah. we can go right back into wrestling with this. I feel like football, I feel like that is a real thing, though. Concussion and all that stuff, that's a problem with football. Oh, I got It's a problem with football. wrestling. Right. These guys sign up for that problem, though. Right, exactly right. So, if they are consenting adults... And something, God forbid, terrible happens. I I don't know. It's like you jumped off a roof and you broke your leg, but you did it. Yeah. I'm not gonna feel bad for you. You're right. You're right. And you know that that comes down from this football aspect. It comes down from a little league. You have to teach kids the proper way of playing football. So, and I'm not really a, a pee wee football fan because you got a lot of coaches that's just down in the wear shirts. Them, them motherfuckers need to actually teach these kids how to play football. Yeah. So when they come up to us in high school, we don't have to reteach them how to play football. Right. Because we don't got that much time to reteach a kid how to tackle, sure. how to run, how to catch, and all that stuff. And how to not break somebody. Seriously. I had that happen to me in school. I had I was the big guy. The other big guy who'd been in football for a long time, coaches told him to hit me. Yeah. Without, without anything on. Right. We were just wearing shirts. He picked me up and spine bustered me. My back still hurts. Right. Fuck that. Right. Like, if you're teaching kids to play football, that fuck that. Oh, I can you're a piece of crap. All the injuries I had in football, I'm surprised I ain't dead right now. I, mean, I have several concussions. And I know there are schools out there yeah. when I was playing football that taught their kids to hit wrong. Oh, I do that a little bit. Yeah. I do it, it depends. <laughs> who, you know, hey, football's a dirty fucking sport. Yeah. So it's wrestling. Yeah. You got wrestlers out there that, that that's not going to give you a move. They're not going to freaking do it. But then that's fighting fire with fire. Right. You know, so I go out there, I tell a kid, I coach defense line. I tell a kid, I do a signal call, I I touch my forehead and I touch the side of my knee. That means take his ass out. You should never do that. You should never teach a kid that. But if I hate a motherfucker, he gone. (laughs) But that's just me being stupid. So if you listen to that, I'm not a dirty guy. It's just a fucking game. I get fired up. I hit my mom if I want to. It just, you know, I'm just fucking crazy. But anyway. (laughs) It's Damn. just, you know, it, it's, you know, it's like a wrestling. You go to these wrestling schools. We experienced this before with wrestling schools. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had this, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to say that. We had this guy come and say he was a wrestler from WWE. And we believe him. Oh, the owner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, slightly. I was very skeptical. But right. Uh, fuck him. I, w- I was going to, I was in. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So. And yeah, oh shit, fuck that. You know, I remember telling you he up. showed up at my my store I was working at. Really? Him and this other moron I know, uh, from high school. They wanted to take a, a a shelf at the store. This is a major retail outlet, and they wanted to sell their computers there. Yeah, so I was like I heard this no. Was, I heard he was a fucking crook anyway, but you know, besides yeah, he that, he is. He besides really is. that, you know. People like that that's telling kids, oh, I'm, I, I can teach you how to wrestle. Yeah. Then don't do shit for us. He got money out of a few of those kids. He got money out of a lot of them he, kids. Brian yeah. trained. Brian Lance trained him. Mo never did anything, right? We did more for Mo than Mo did for us. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Paid the electric bill and everything. You know, shit, we yeah. won that promoted and got everybody to come watch us, beat each other up. Did he ever do anything? He sat back there and clocked to us. Yeah. That's what he did. That's all I ever saw. We, taught, we taught ourselves how to do shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. you guys had the DVDs and stuff. Yeah, so we... Uh, we, we did have... Um, we had at least one legitimate trainer come through. Je- Jeremy? Right. Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, 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 I remember him. Um, I want to say there was another guy, too, but I think... We had the guy come from... He, he didn't train us or anything, but he came from the Hart School. Not the Hart School. Uh, somewhere in Tampa. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. that guy? Yeah, yeah. Um, we had him... I mean, we didn't have enough legitimate training. Oh, actually. and I showed up right after that because you guys were like, we learned this stuff and we're going to show you now. You're like all excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, that's all we had. That's yeah. 
we had just what we learned and we had we had some hands on experience with some stuff but mm -hmm. see what I remember enough. is you you and Lance trained your yeah. mom ran it for, for it, that all intents and purposes right. yeah. for like no for no reason I was coaching like, football and doing that so I was yeah, that's right. off and on with that shit but you know it, it was it was fun for us because we fulfilled our dreams yeah, yeah. Of competing in the ring, but at the end of the day, it sucked what happened because now, you know, our dreams were squashed, and it technically wasn't because Brian took the ring. Don't mean to say that loud. <laughs> well, that, wasn't Brian, that wasn't Brian's ring. Was that your ring? No. Well, it became. I bought it. I bought, oh, you bought that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Good. I still don't know how we got home that night. I cannot remember. No, it closed because Mo just didn't want to bother anymore. And, and, we, and from what I understand was the electric was paid, right? And he just took off with the money and just didn't pay rent or anything. Uh, That's what I was told by the kid that was paying the electric. Yeah, there's the kid who came in, paid the electric, and th so we can do our final show. Mm -hmm. um, but we had like another month or two after that. He, he just paid up to that month. Oh, okay. And then the he had like like a year free rent or something. Because that place was super desperate to get people yeah. in there. Yeah. That's when they had that pool hall down the end of it. Yeah. yeah. So, like, his time there. was up, and... I think it's still there. No, that thing been gone. The pool hall? That been gone, Oh, bro. damn. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, that thing's gone for a while. But, uh, yeah, like, the lease was up, and, like, he... he or, uh, his free time was up. He was just gone. Was like, that school there for a year? Um... I wasn't there for a year, but I was there for a while. I we were there when it started. Were we there at the very beginning? I thought we you were there for a little bit. We were there for the very beginning because my mom. Well, I know your mom was there. I was there. I probably missed the first like month or two, but he probably had like six or eight months of free. Because I know I was there for at least six months. For all we know, he still had a few months of free time, and he just decided to close it. Yeah. No, I, like he was an honest person. Yeah. That's very true. Too. No, no, at the end of the day, what I would try and say is do your research on somebody you want to train. You know, like you don't want to go in there and get somebody that's not willing to get you to the next step. Just want to take your and shit. And it's just going to hurt you. Right. Yeah. And see, now I bought the ring from the guy who ran our school. Um, we did shows out of our house. And Which was awesome. Yes. Um, I actually, we got, I had some not so nice messages from some indie wrestlers actually uh, that did not like what we were doing. Why? Well, back because in our we wrestling's kind of. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And it's because nice. we weren't trained enough. And, you know, I, I was going to explain it, but if you're explaining, you're losing. Yeah, so. and personally, I agree with the indie wrestlers, but Brian yeah. also did because you didn't want all the stupid backyard wrestling stuff. Yeah, we were not. Yeah, like. You just you were in wrestling school who happened to be outside, <laughs> right? <clears throat> and then after that, I went to uh, I had the ring. I was trying to sell it, and there was a backyard wrestling group uh, in Spring Hill, which is about an hour south of us or something. Um, and they really, really wanted it. Uh, I forget why they didn't buy it. I don't think they could afford it or something. I thought you couldn't get it up there. Yeah, I don't think they had. A, maybe that was it. Maybe they didn't have a way to get they it. Like, didn't have all the parts or something. And eventually, yes, someone stole the four yeah. corner post. Yeah. That's why I wasn't able to sell it to the last person who actually wanted it. Mm -hmm. But I told the guys, and I was like, "Look, I know you guys were doing backyard wrestling. They're wrestling on the trampoline." I was like, "Look, if you guys are serious, though, because that's why they wanted the ring because they wanted to get more serious." I was like, "You guys need to find someone who will train you." I was like, "I'll show you what I know, but that's not enough." You know, I can't. I if you if I teach you what I know, you're not going to be pros yeah. at all. You need to find someone who knows what they're really doing. Someone much more experienced than I have. And uh, one of the guys specifically, he was like, "Hey, uh, you know what? What should I do? You know, what do you think?" Uh, and you know, I I talked to him for a little bit, and uh, this was a few quite a few years ago now. Uh, but he holds titles in at least at least one company right now uh, in Florida. 
So, uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, him and uh, at least one other guy that was in their little uh, their little backyard federation. Uh, they're both in. Uh, yeah, they both wrestle pretty frequently. But the guy who was super interested, he has wrestled in Puerto Rico. Uh, he's wrestled out of the state in like Arkansas and some other states. Wow. Yeah. And he's also wrestled in London, and I think ICW, the uh, Pages Parents promotion. Right. Uh, he's wrestled with them as well. Wow. So that's uh, cool. And that's what we try to do with our the stuff we want to do. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't want to be backyard wrestling. Right. We no. want you know we want no. to be like the Indies, you know, go you know, like a gym or something, and have a good promotion, have a little tiny storyline with it to get you know fans into it more. Yeah. And go on from there, but you know it just. It costs money. It's time consuming. Oh God, yeah. You know, you got, you got. If you're gonna do it, you can't have no life. You gotta wrap your life around something like that. And will we do it again if we had a chance? Hell yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll go out there and do it again with y'all. You know, we got room in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Them old folks be yelling like, "Get out of my yard!" They're, you know, like, <laughs> you can do it in this neighborhood. There are this one. We, we could, <laughs> You never know what's gonna happen. The neighbors there. already yelled at the actual. But what? Supposedly, Jester on his lawn. Oh, Jeez. Right, here we go. Welcome to Beverly Hills. Yep. <laughs> but, um, now everyone knows where he lives. Beverly Hills, California. Damn, Brooks. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Beverly Hills, California. California. Just an hour away from Orlando. <laughs> so, uh... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I would do it again. I mean, if I was, if I was able... Actually, I mean, we can do it again. We have the ability. We, there's, uh, like on the last episode, you know, wrestling has a tomorrow. Entertainment. Yeah, I was say, we don't need to do shit. They yeah. did all the work. They will do all the work. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there are things. It, we can get involved somehow. Uh, we just got to make it to the shows. Yeah. Was, you know, and then, you know, it, like I said, it just takes time and patience. Mm hmm. Time and patience, you know, but like, you know, to, to sum it up with everything, just. Just watch who y'all communicate with when you're trying to get into something that you really love to do. You know, yeah. Do your research on the person you're going to get involved with. Make sure he ain't no felon or no criminal or somebody that's going to take your damn money. Yeah. yeah. Run off with it and stuff. Because that's, that's, you know, wrestling trainers, you don't, it's, it's a lot of them. But They're you really, everywhere. You really don't know who's the real, true wrestling trainer that wants to see you succeed in the sport. Basically, if you've never heard of them, you shouldn't train with them. Yeah. And that, that somebody told us that. Yeah. We went to a show in Spring Hill. You remember that? Yep. And we we brought up the dude's name, and they're like, who is that? We never right. heard of him. You shouldn't be messing with him. Right. And that's not like, shit. And we only did it because it was local. It was there. It right. was very close. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, It was yeah. an opener. You know, it was an opener. You, like, you always learn from your lessons, and we definitely learned from that. You know? We still had fun. Oh, you always got to have fun. Hey, you got to have fun. Why are you doing it? One of the best times of my life. I yeah. enjoyed it. You know, with all of us getting together. It made you know. me appreciate wrestling a lot more. Agreed. Agreed. You know. Yeah, but uh, the like the guys I was talking about, I know at least one of them went to the Wild Samoan School. I mean, if you've never heard of them, you probably shouldn't be wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then he's it also... Works both ways. He's also uh, trained with another local indie guy. Who, if you Google his name, his mashes pop right up. Mm -hmm. So you know he's been around for a little bit at least. Who's that? A uh, hound dog, out of. Oh, okay, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he out of Pasco County. Yep, and then he also uh, trains with Jay Lethal at Jay Lethal School. So I mean, I've never heard Jay Lethal. You think you know legit? You know Jay Lethal? No. All right. I only have his action figure. <laughs> if they don't have an action figure, don't wrestle with them. You know, yeah, if they don't, if they've never had an action figure, maybe that's a good that's a good sign. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, are you legit? Pull the action figure. <laughs> that's that's your credentials. Too legit to quit. <laughs> Brian's over here making fake IDs then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in, in all fairness though, I did make a delirious figure, and he is a trainer or was a trainer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of trainers, the Dudley boys still got a training facility in Orlando. I think so. Tampa. I thought it was Orlando. Uh, Wait. It's Kissimmee. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I call it. Dean Malenko was in Tampa. Yeah. 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 Dean Malenko. Yeah. He was. I, was I think there's there. a I couple. Think, I think Dean Malenko still has one. I, I don't. I don't know. I gotta look that up. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know, but I remember the Delta Bulls had somewhere. It was one in Central Florida. I know that. Place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, they still do because they talked about it on WWE. Okay. Right there. 
That's that's cool. Is uh the funk Dory Funk still got his yep. Ocala? Ocala. We yeah. should uh we should go to an Ocala show. Yeah, Dory guess. Funk was at the last NXT show. Yeah, did you see that? No. Um, Riddick Moss was gonna kick the shit out of him, and Hande Aoi Tommy showed up. Whoa, where was this? Ocala. Oh, the sixteenth. Yeah. That was the other one. We, we need to start going. To. To, we need to start going to the Ocala show. Yeah. I think bigger shit happens there. It's yeah. in a tent. It sucks, but yeah. In a tent. Yeah. Good grief. It's the only one of the big church tents. The revivals. Yeah. <laughs> When uh when I went to the Ocala Comic Con a few years ago, uh, Dory Funk did a show in another big tent outside the convention center, mm-hmm. and I I didn't get the nerves, but Dory Funk was in the ring, just Dory and like another person. I was like, oh my god, it's Dory Funk! I should go say hi. I should go. Say, oh my god, I'm just gonna go inside. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, did I ever tell a story about when I almost met Davy Richards? Um, no. You know Davey Richards, yeah. TNA. Mm-hmm. So when we went to that TNA show, the um, uh, the women's tournament, we were standing. Uh, have you been to a TNA show then? Right? I have not. Really? I have not. So at a TNA show, they have the bleachers, and then in between the bleachers, when everyone walks in. Yeah. Well, me and Kim were walking in. And we walk in, and we're like, "Oh, this is kind of dead." Just kind of looking around, like there's not many people here. Look at this guy to my right. He's got earbuds in and a towel around his neck. And I'm like, oh, shit, Davey Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Literally standing shoulder to shoulder with Davey Richards. Mm-hmm. Didn't talk to him. Come on. Because I've heard he's a dick. Oh. He does not like to be bothered. Oh. So that was in the back of my mind. It was right before the show. I could see him not wanting to He didn't to wrestle bothered. either. Oh, well, then Son maybe. Bitch. But Davey Richards has called me a dickhead. Oh, yeah, that's right. I probably talked about it before. So long story short. Short story short. At an FIP show at Crystal River. Yeah, I forgot who he was wrestling. He had someone in a sharpshooter. You and remember some girls called me a, a asshole or a jerk? Yeah, we'll get to that. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Um But uh, I think you may have been here there for this one. Uh Stokes was with us. I don't know if you ever went with me and Stokes. But uh, we were cheering for Navy Richards. He just looks to me like dead in the eyes. He's like, I don't need your help, dickhead. <laughs> it was funny. Major dick. Davey's awesome. But, uh, yeah, you asked, uh, asked SoCal Val and somebody else be- to take a picture with you, but kiss you on the cheek, and they lost their shit on you. And it w- I wasn't wanting to, like, the, you know, kiss. I just wanted to put their lips on my face real quick. Right. I, like, they was kissing on me. And I was going to make a cool, like, I'm a badass, I'm a badass look. But no, they flipped their they, shit They fucking you. went crazy. And also, like, I watched TNA, and a bitch sitting in his ring, so I'm like, that's why you rang a bell, bitch. She's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's on the radio show, The Monsters in the Morning, you know what I know? Yeah. Yeah, she, SoCal Val is on The Monsters in the Morning radio show in Orlando. Uh, you, it was every week, but I guess she's in London a lot or something. Mm-hmm. She does a lot of stuff for uh, Fight TV, a lot of interviews and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, yeah. Um, she's gorgeous. Holy crap. That's why I wanted that picture. Why has she never been in WWE? I've seen her at um, like NXT shows and stuff. She she does a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Huh. Like I don't know if she's working for them, but I know she's been there. Huh. I think she was like behind the scenes. Like I've seen her at shows like behind the curtain. I could be wrong. Could have been somebody else. <laughs> but. Yeah. That, that broke my heart, you know. But, you know. Well, they just tell you to screw off or something? You know. Oh, I, they, they yelled at him. They went off. It's off. like I, I touched their boobs or something, you know. Ah. It's like, can, can y'all just, like, you know, put your lips on my cheeks and pretend y'all kissing me? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, son of a bitch. I, just, I don't want to take you on ah. you know, fucking Applebee's. What? Next. <laughs> <laughs> they did go to Applebee's after. All the wrestlers went to Applebee's fucking after. Fucking asshole. We should have spit names. But anyway. We always you know, hope to see wrestlers at the Applebee's after they the always do. They sit in the same spot. Oh, we've never <laughs> seen them there. They don't go to the after the NXT show. No more? We've never seen them. Well, no, we did see some people, some of the wrestlers at, um, yeah, at, when we go to the Crystal River. Mm-hmm. Not, Good. not Citrus Springs, because it's too far. Yeah. But Crystal River, um, they weren't, actually, they weren't wrestlers at the time that I, I remember um, they're the Something Brothers now. They were security. They used to work security, I think. 
Okay. They're, t- they're, t- they're We saw them? Um. I don't remember this. <sighs> it may have been an NXT show I didn't go to. Could be. But I know I saw them there for sure. Huh. And there's a couple other people. I Definitely like some refs and stuff. Okay. But, and we weren't there for very long. We need to get an interview one day. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't want to say I'm sure we can, but it's not out of the realm of possibilities that we can interview somebody. From when when we show. first started talking about doing this. Oh, no, we had the other podcast, Kayfabe Kaiju. It never came out. Yeah. Maybe it'll come out one day. Yeah. Um, we went to an NXT show in Citrus Springs and Drake Younger. Are you familiar with him? That's not fair. Um, he, he's an indie wrestler. He was a deathmatch wrestler. Oh, okay, and then okay. he started doing more legit stuff. Now he's like the main ref on NXT. Right. And uh, he was breaking down the ring. And I was like, hey, Drake, can I get an interview with you? I got a podcast, blah, blah, blah. I gave him the whole spiel. He's like, I would, but I can't. You know, the whole WWE thing. He got an yeah. email. And I was like, all right, fair enough. Like, I had to ask him because I love Drake Younger. That dude's amazing. Right, right. Maybe we'll have him on one day. Maybe one day. Like, hey, uh-huh. remember when you were an asshole and you wouldn't give <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you never know, man. Never know. So, did you guys hear who holds the most re- the record for the most losses at WrestleMania? Who's that? Triple H. The COO. Dude I'm, puts people over. Yeah, he does. I'm, sometimes. <laughs> WrestleMania 12, defeated by the Ultimate Warrior. Awesome. Even though he wrestled the Ultimate Warrior, that's awesome. That was, I think that was a Hunter Hearst Hemsley gimmick. Right. Uh, 13, he defeated Goldust. 14, uh, okay, he beat Owen Hart. Triple H lost to Kane at 25. Triple H defeated The Rock at 2017. Sorry, no. That's 15 in 2017. Undertaker beat him. 18, Triple H defeated Chris Jericho. Jeez, he's been so many. Then he defeated Booker T, and he lost to Shawn Michaels and Chris Benoit. Who won that one? Thanks, article. (laughs) Then he lost the championship to Batista, and John Cena beat him, then Randy Orton beat him. And he defeated Randy Orton, then he defeated Sheamus, then The Undertaker beat him. Then The Undertaker beat him. Then he beat Brock. And he... Daniel Bryan beat him, then he beat Sting, and he beat Roman. Loser. <laughs> then he got beat by Seth. Well, that is that's a lot of appearances, though. So Undertaker's probably got the most wins. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. No one else could possibly have more wins than Undertaker, I would assume. Yeah, I don't think nobody would no. ever will have more wins than Undertaker. I hope not. Nah, that's something they don't need to touch. Just leave that alone. Yeah, no one will ever do anything like this streak ever again. Especially in a row. I don't think there's anyone that's going to win 21. Yeah. It? I think you owe 21, wasn't it? 22? I think yeah. 22 is going to be Bray Wyatt. No, it, because the 21 thing was the 21 and 1. Yeah. 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 So now, it's, now Roman Reigns is the 21 and 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is not as impressive. Not quite. I mean, it's still good. It's still pretty impressive. Yeah. But, um,. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's ever going to win 21 matches in a row. No. That's just one of a kind of talent right there, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Not a lot of people are going to wrestle for 21 years in a row. Oh, more than 21 yeah, years. Yeah, more than 21, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But still, you know, you'd have to wrestle 21 years in a row to, to get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's just special right there. Hey, Speaking man. of, I mean, Aaron, Jim. Speaking of WrestleMania, you know, if y'all actually listen to what the wrestlers and everybody was saying, they wasn't saying what the stadium is called now, Camping World Stadium. They were saying the Oh, World. right. You guys were telling me about this. What, what do y'all think about that? You know, what's, what do you think was going on? I there? caught I, on to that. Yeah, Brian quickly. kept bringing it up like it was this major thing. And I, it is. Yeah, it think, is. Uh, yeah, Camping is. World paid a lot of money to put their name on that stadium. Yeah. yeah. And for, uh, you know, probably, probably one of the biggest events that's ever going to be held there. I like to imagine Vince was like, yeah, cool, it's your stadium. We already paid to use it, now pay us more to use your name. That is possible. I can definitely see that happening. You know, That's amazing. The history, was, you know, it was the Citrus Bowl, then they renovated the Citrus Bowl. Right. Then when they got done with it, you know, Camp World said, let's put our name on it. 
So they gave you know the citrus bowl gave me a good amount of money and all that. But when the WWE came in, you know, and I think being in Orlando, living there for a long time, it will always be the Citrus Bowl. I think they're gonna go back to the Citrus Bowl name. I think they should go back. Most of these stadiums should go back to their original names. Right. You know, Camp World is all over that stadium, but everybody still calls it the Citrus Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. The radio shows took forever to be able to because they that's where. Uh, that's where Orlando City played, right? Yeah. Soccer team? Yeah. Now they have their own stadium. They got their own stadium there, yeah. Yeah, huh. but they played the, in the radio shows do a lot with Orlando City. So, I mean, they, would al- they were always talking about the Citrus Bowl. Then, like, one Monday, they're like, oh, now it's called Camping World Stadium. It shocked That everybody. doesn't sound right. <laughs> it, it shocked a lot of us Orlando people when uh, we heard that the name was changed. And to this day, a lot of, I still call it the Citrus Bowl. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a long you know, time before anyone called the Camping World But Stadium. I think Vince and the Camping World reps didn't agree on something. Something. Something happened. Yeah, you yeah. know how Vince is. When he don't like it, he's still going to be, you know. I, yeah. I want to know if shit. Camping World ends up suing them for it or something. I don't think Camping World want to get in that move. I mean, is I Camping World that big? It's an RV shit. I mean, and yeah, like RV, they're big enough it. to, you know, buy a stadium. They ain't buying it. It's yeah. all the rights of the name. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's city like Orlando the, owns the stadium. Is that how it works? Yeah. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's built in city limits. Oh, that's so right. Yeah. That's the uh, so That's city why Orlando. Orlando City made their own stadium. Yeah. Yeah. And the city of Orlando built Orlando City. It's the soccer stadium now. So, the city of Orlando owns the stadium. The Citrus Bowl been a name since like 1950s, I want to say. But, you know, it's a business like everything else. It's a business and, you know. Let, let me put my name on your product and let's make money together. Yeah. You know, they had the big football games there. Everybody in the camp world. But then all of a sudden, WrestleMania came and everybody started calling it the Citrus Bowl again. Even before yeah. WrestleMania, like three weeks in advance of WrestleMania, they still called it the Citrus Bowl. Well, I think it causes confusion. Like, Kim went to a concert somewhere in Tampa. I can't remember what it was. And she told me what the name of the stadium was and I was like, what? <laughs> and it was, I can't remember what the hell stadium it was. But then I knew what it was when I found out which stadium. Right. Because it was by this traditional name. Right. Like, I, I do remember when they said it was going to be at the Camping World Stadium, and I was like, huh, which one, which one, I wonder which one that was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Citrus Bowl. Okay, know that. Okay. You know, they got, if you ride by the, the Citrus Bowl or Camping World, you can see that they got signs that are humongous that say Camping World, you know. And why not be the Citrus Bowl sponsored by Camping World? Yeah, it's just too much. Really? Because they have the 1-800-Ask-Gary Stadium? That is. That, that <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's the amphitheater at the fairgrounds in Tampa. And, you know. <laughs> See, okay, that's what it was. Kim, I think, went to the 1-800-Ask-Gary Stadium. And right. I was like, what? It was the amphitheater. It used to, oh, it used right. to be the 4 Amphitheater. Right. And that's what everybody knew it for, the 4 Amphitheater. Then it went to a different name. I can't remember that name. And all of a sudden, it's like, you look at TV and you see that commercial where it's Get it right? You better call one eight hundred Gary or something like that. And like, oh, good, not that bitch get up. <laughs> now it's on the name of the th- fucking amphitheater in Tampa. You know, I thought Hard Rock was gonna buy that first because it's right across from Hard oh, Rock. That would be cool. You know, yeah. it should. It's right there. The Hard Rock Stadium. Hell yeah. yeah. You know, it's right there. That sounds cool. Build yeah. the bridge from the casino to the arena and yeah. have the concert, live concert sponsored by the casino right there. I thought that that's what cool. they originally was gonna do. Huh? But Hard Rock said, "Fuck off." Yeah. They ain't want nothing to do with that because the city of Tampa on that. Mm. You know, but uh, I think I went to a concert there once. It was the Rockstar Energy Tour. I ain't, like I ain't never been there. You know, I, I almost went to Jimmy Buffett when they was they was doing it out there. But I thank God because you know, there's too much people out there for that shit. And when I was living in Tampa, there was a <laughs> U2 concert at Raymond James, mm-hmm. and I was on my way to work when it got released. That was a nightmare. I was oh actually God. I was living in Tampa too when they was there, and uh, good grief, you could see they they stage from a mile <laughs> away. It was that right. high. Nah. Like Raymond James, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Like they they stage was like a damn spaceship in the middle of the damn <laughs> stadium. It was fucking humongous. Oh, no, that's funny. Oh my goodness, dude! Like, I was so pissed off at traffic. I didn't look. <laughs> oh, imagine doing that shit during the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. I lived when I, when I was living in Tampa. I stayed in Tampa six years. And I was there when the Ravens faced the Giants in the Super Bowl. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you what, they had freaking, it's like 
they was waiting for a war to happen at the damn stadium. We had oh, yeah, well, yeah. Army trucks and shit sitting outside the stadium and whatnot. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I got warrants. Let me get the fuck out of here, you know? Like, <laughs> I ain't got no warrants, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but, you know, they take that shit serious. And when they was doing the uh, WrestleMania setup, <laughs> you couldn't even get close to that shit. Right. They had security, like, pinpoint, you know. I tried to ride through it, but, you know, they directed me the other way and flipped them off. Like, fuck off. You know? <laughs> but, you know, that, that's, you know, everybody want to be stupid and ruin shit for other people. Yeah. And that's why, you know, you know, the shit happens like that. But, you know, I thought, you know, like Brian said, I thought that was pretty interesting. You know, I'm happy we brought it up. Y'all got anything to say, let us know, you know, about freaking the name change. And they're not saying the name change. They're going with the traditional name. No, that shit, you know, you never know what's going to happen with that. You know, yeah. Like maybe they are going to change it back to Citrus Bowl. Maybe Vince trying to start some shit. Yeah, I think that's what it is. You know, maybe Vince want to buy Camping World. The WWE Citrus Bowl. There you go. Good grief. Hell yeah. This Build another Wrestle- fucking stadium, you know. Like WrestleMania <laughs> in Orlando every year. No, that's too <laughs> much. Not that's too much. That's too much. I can dream, though. But you know what, though? If y'all realize, WrestleMania... Has been in South a lot these past couple of years. You know, it was in San Francisco a couple of years ago. Yeah. Then, besides that, you know, it's been down here a lot. Yeah. You know, that's you know, that's pretty weird if you think about it. You know, because I mean, they do well. They well, you know, you know, we we you know we said something about it. You know, and kudos to Vince for doing this. He goes where tragedy happens. Yeah. And wants to help the economic portion of that. Mm-hmm. You know, like Orlando had the terror attack with Pulse. You know, and I was very close to that, so it was. It's, I won't get in that. It was, it was very sad. Then you know the hurricanes in New Orleans. So he and they just had floods over in New Orleans, and they still have floods in New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. So kudos for Vince for going back to New Orleans and want to help out that community, because God bless them, they sure need it over there. They no fuckers can't catch a break. Yeah, no, they they take a shit, go outside. Up, oh, we got a flood. <laughs> go ahead, wipe their ass. Up, oh, lightning storm. Levy broke. Fuck off. Good grief. You know they can't catch a break. I feel so bad for them. And you know, and I think <clears throat> my gut feeling, the next WrestleMania when they get done with New Orleans, it's gonna be in Atlanta. Yeah, they just built a brand new stadium in Atlanta, Mercedes Benz oh. Stadium. And I think they're gonna put it in there next after Louisiana. Huh. I mean, and really, there's only so many places they can do it. Atlanta, that makes sense, yeah. It was there a long time ago. You know, but it's like, ago. it's New York, Boston, Philadelphia. Yeah, it's in Philadelphia. It's really, it's all the NFL teams. That's where they can do it. You know, they, yeah, they, like last time they was in Boston is when Stone Cold beat Shawn Michaels and Mike Tyson. Okay. That was the last time they had WrestleMania in Boston. Jeez. So they, they are That was in the 90s. But now, WrestleMania has went global and went bigger. Well, that, yeah, that, they've talked about that, that they might do WrestleMania in London or Japan. I heard about that, yeah, Wembley Stadium and all that stuff yeah. in London because it's so damn big now. You yeah. know, They already had WrestleMania in the biggest stadium in America, the Dallas Cowboys football stadium. Right. That's the biggest stadium in America, and they already went there. Yeah, I don't know. Could you imagine them doing it in another country? Yeah. Like, well, I don't think they'd do well. Well, I, well of course they would. Uh, oh, a good chunk of the WrestleMania and Monday Night Raw and SmackDown crowds are European. Yeah, they fly over and take over. Like, fuck, yeah. dude. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm saying like the outrage the U.S. fans would have. I mean, you'd have to. Th- they'd be outraged, and then the day after, they'd forget about it. That's the as problem. long as it was a good show. Yeah, if it was a shit show. But how many of us would go over there? I think a good a good amount. Right. You know, I mean, so yeah, if you could afford it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm not going to Japan to watch WrestleMania. Now, fuck that. I mean, it would be cool as hell. Japan uh, is less likely because I don't think they have. If I'm going to go to Japan and watch wrestling, I'm going to watch New Japan. Well, I'm not going to London. <laughs> if you've heard any of the other episodes, you know uh, I'm not going to London. Yeah, look, because the accents. I hate the fucking British accents. Oh, I get over that shit, yeah. Mike. It's Australia, but you hate it so much. <laughs> but I didn't even notice an accent. <laughs> he tried. Damn, he tried. I'll try. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn this shit. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I yeah. probably would go over to London to watch WrestleMania. Uh, if you could afford it. Because yeah. it seems pretty pricey. And that's one thing. I'm not saying you can't afford it. I'm well, no, saying. no, no. I understand what you're saying. That's one thing. You know, I was sitting outside the stadium, and I think it was more people standing by me 
the end of the stadium because they couldn't afford it. Very possible. And here's my thing. Or because you couldn't get a ticket. That too. Because I know it was sold out. One of my football players went to the game and he spent at least $800 to sit in the upper deck. Oh, sure. That's a fucking house payment. See, yeah. I, I don't ever want to spend that's, that much money. That's know, my new rent. <laughs> seriously, you know, it's like, and I'm standing by people and I'm and talking to them. That's just to sit in a seat. That's like right. parking. Apparently, parking was outrageous in that area. You might as well pinch your fucking tent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. The walk we had to do when we went to 24, because I, I don't remember where we parked. We parked at someone's house. It's bad, dude. It's people ridiculous. were, like, like had signs at their houses. Oh, yeah. They, they park, that's where I was standing. I have two houses where they had, like, 50 cars in the yard. Yeah. And they watched where the cars was a good thing. But I'm standing on the sidewalk, and I'm asking random people about wrestling. And mm-hmm. it blew my mind. They knew everything about wrestling. <laughs> And, you know, it, it was just like me, a dog wrestling fan, wishing I was in that stadium. Yeah. But can't afford it. Yeah. Make the prices better, man. Shit. Well, I mean, <laughs> Look at that stage, though. Holy I know. crap. Hey, that was, oh my God. 85 yards of ramp. You know what, dude? Watching them. Not just ramp. Dude. LED, like LED screens. Yeah. Right? yeah. So. And did y'all see the Undertaker go in and out of the ramp? Yeah. Yeah, Thank I God. said, I was like, he, he said, I'm not walking out. Thank right. God. Was, He's like, nah. We'll still be fucking be there watching him go to fucking <laughs> yeah, I know. He's yeah. like, no, nah, fuck you guys. That you give me an wrong. elevator. I'm the undertaker. Like, John yeah. Cena ran in that shit, and I thought he was going to be an auction tank when he got in the That was hand. awesome. Holy crap. You know, it's like, watching them build that stuff, and it's like, oh, God. I even like when he was like, this is going to be a long run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, and to be honest, I think that was one of the best stages I've seen. Oh, yeah. It's the yeah. best stage ever. Yeah, it, it was Absolutely. fucking... They put a lot of time and effort in that. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Because it made, it made it feel like Orlando. Orlando's, a, yeah. you know, the theme park capital of the world. And they put that... They had a universal thing. They had a roller coaster. They, you know, they had I didn't really place. understand the giant ring on top, but I liked it. It's whatever. Yeah. That, I mean, that, was, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah they probably cool. designed the whole thing, and they were like, we need to put something on top. Because before, yeah. the other, you know, the other events outside, they never had anything on top. That was the first. Well, I'll tell you that back. New York. They had the Statue of Liberty on top of the ring yeah. in New York. 24, I don't think they had anything. I don't think so. Either. 24 had the cube that was hanging above the ring, though. Yeah. That was, that was, that was, cool. it, that, that was pretty cool. Did they have anything in Miami? Don't remember. I don't think they had anything on top of Miami. So, they have a, you know, everybody was talking about, oh, that's what Shaman Man going to jump off of. Yeah. That's you know, all stupid, bitch. <laughs> You know, the boy rich, but he, ain't, he can't buy himself with another life. Just fuck no. off, you know, shit. You know, but that, okay. that was that was cool. Let's go through WrestleMania really quick with, since Brooks is here. Okay. Uh, just real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Austin Aries and Neville. Well, you watched it, right? I watched it. You know, if you look at the map, and I'll say this real quick. If you look at the map on Google, and you'll see Citrus Bowl, and you'll see a big-ass pond. Yeah. I was on the other side of that pond. Okay. To a point where I could see the big jumbo truck, and I saw that. I could feel it, you know. And the Austin Aries match was fucking awesome. Yeah. You know, that, it was a good vibe. You could feel it. You know, even though they're under the giant match. Yeah. You know, it was kind of quiet at first. Gronkowski coming out was pretty cool. That's when I woke up and like, all right, somebody's there that, you know, it's good. People were mad. You were like, he's a football player. Like, right. it's, it's something different. Well, Lawrence, it's they, WrestleMania. They had Lawrence yeah. Taylor fight Bam Bam yeah. Bigelow. You know, yeah. you know, that was fucking awesome, you know. Huh. Did, we, I don't think we brought up that The Rock did not show up. Stone Cold didn't either. They didn't have a legend spot. Well, yeah, but it, so many people were talking about how The Rock and Vin Diesel were both in Orlando. Right. And yeah. everyone was expecting something to happen between the two. I don't, even, know what, I don't even think Stone Cold was in Orlando, to be honest with you. I heard seem like it. I heard right. nothing of Stone Cold. No, me either. I, I'm, I'm okay sad. with them not doing a legend spot, because that just means that like, look at how short the matches at the end were. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't need more time taken up. When the final bell rung, it was 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. we know. And I had to oh, be yeah. at work like four hours later. Ha! Jeez. Yep. Traffic sucked. Thank God I know the back roads. You know, but just, you know, my, my the most, the one thing that got me, gave me goosebumps was Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting in all of a sudden, the lights go out, and you just see everybody with their phones out. And they just moving around. It's like the Citrus Bowl got like a whole bunch of bugs. I saw an article. It was like a fake article. It's on kfabenews.com, which mm-hmm. is a great website. You should check it out. They write fake wrestling articles. Sure. I love them. Yeah, and they wrote an article about Bray Wyatt's like 
disappointed when he finds out that his fireflies are actually cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> my other favorite article was uh, was that Brock Lesnar tries to uh, renegotiate his contract so he's not paid hourly anymore. Because mm. <laughs> he, he had only wrestled. I was like, told by someone that Goldberg is paid by the hour. Damn. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was no, it was Goldberg because at the time there's no way he'd only wrestle no for problem. like 118 seconds or something. Yeah, he, he freaking he walks in, walks out. Yeah, he's not getting paid. It's like by the time way. Goldberg get done a match, you finally wrapping up your poop. You know, it's like <laughs> you didn't miss nothing. And speaking of that, they hear the fans. You really didn't hear that, and then somebody was saying that you really didn't hear Goldberg chants. I don't think anyone wanted him to win. You didn't really hear it, yeah. and that was weird. It was it, weird. The Goldberg right. chant, yeah. I've always felt was like an anti-Goldberg thing. It feels like they're mocking him when they do that. Yeah. Just to me. I don't know. I don't know if people do it because they like him. But to me, it feels like it's like droning on and on because he's blowing well, matches with music, I think is why they do it. Yeah. I don't think it matches with music. It, it kind of does. It does. Uh, it, does. does. it does, actually. I don't, I don't see it. But... May, maybe it does. I don't know. Because they did it back at the WCW days. And That's what it yeah. started with. Hot, yeah. Like, he was so, like, the top guy back then. Yeah, he was the shit. Yeah. I know. WCW. Right. They ruined him with Kevin Nash, but, you know, that's a different thing. But, uh, uh, who else? Uh, the women, the SmackDown women's title match. You know, that was. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> so short. Alexa Bliss lost, and I'm kidding. It was weird. Eight, like we brought it up, anytime Alexa Bliss, Naomi, or Becky was in the ring, it was great. Yeah. Anytime the other three were in, it was awkward. I would give you that. First, you know, it, it took too damn long for them to walk to the ring. You know that shit. And they didn't even have individual entrances. Like they were coming out as they were still walking. They had their music. They just cut it short. Yeah. yeah. Except for Alexa and Naomi. Yeah. Yeah. Because Naomi's like, entrance. Oh my god. And I, I, I will tell you this. She was born and raised in Orlando. Yeah. I Good for her to win it in Orlando. Yeah. Good I didn't know her. she was a... Uh, she was a magic dancer. Yeah, I didn't know that. The dance really? she was doing in the ring, yeah. that was her routine with the magic. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. I found so, that out on SmackDown. Right? When we so. watched Naomi come out, I was like, well, she's winning. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I was just about to say that. For her to have that entrance, yeah. that bitch better win that title. Yeah, I was not surprised <laughs> she won. I'm happy for her. She's, I, knew, I knew she was going to win. As much as I love Alexa Bliss, I love Naomi's story. Yeah, like, she's yeah. so good. And she was like, she was like, I got this dancing gimmick, and I'm going to add some cool stuff to it, and you can like it or not like it. Right. Yeah. I like Alexa because she got a nice ass, but that's just different, you know, story. <laughs> Alexa's incredible. She has a beautiful body. Women's wrestling right now is incredible. It's, it's, getting, it's getting there. It's Absolutely. Getting there. They, need, they need to... They need to weed out the bad ones. Uh, that, you're, you're exactly good. right. That's and we got the true. women's tournament coming up. Okay. They announced... So, so you know, I, it's like on Raw. The women on Raw is pissing me off. It's too much show. Pissing them off. Too much show. Because like, <laughs> yeah, we had we had Bailey versus Sasha versus. It's Charlotte the same shit. Nia. Yeah. The same shit. Yeah, yeah, they need more. You know, it's like you can't have the f- same four people. Now it's like Bailey got thrown into that shit. It's like all right, you know, you get sick of watching it, Bailey. Well, you, it, Bailey was great for a little bit, and now it's just like. Recycled, yeah, recycled. it's the same shit. So you know, they, they, I don't know. It's just I respect the women in wrestling. I respect the women who started women in wrestling for mm-hmm. them. You know, the old goats and all that stuff. I respect them, but holy crap, they probably turned around in graves watching this shit. They see, the SmackDown women had Naomi, who's a cool gimmick. Alexa's Alexa's a bitch. Like yeah. she's such a good heel. She's a bitch. I let, let me stop. Uh, <laughs> they've got Natalia and uh, Mickey James. They got the veteran that are so good. They got Becky Lynch, who's over as hell. Yeah, yeah. Like they've got a great division. And then they got Carmella. Or what? Carmella, Carmella, what her name? Carmella. Carmella. Oh yeah. yeah. She's oh yeah, she was in that match too. Yeah. They, you know what? I love Carmella to death. She's not a great wrestler. She's a great manager. She's like that one girl that just got released. The red-headed girl. No, Eva didn't get released yet. Are you sure? It's not official. I thought it was official. I love Eva Marie. You know what? I like it because she looked good. <laughs> but she just wasted a spot to me. 
Right. She, she could have been imagined for something I understand. But people hate right. her for that. It's not her fault. I understand that. But the way she went on with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like. But if, if Vince McMahon came to you and said, we, we want to put you on TV for a few weeks, would you say no? Fuck no. Okay. But well, I want to do it like she did. Well, when she just didn't show up? You know, it's like, I don't know. It's hard I love that point. when they're like, Eva Marie is stuck in traffic and will not be able to have Well, she match. walks on her ring, her, her strap falls off. I wish it would have fully fell off. <laughs> you know, but it's like, come Oh, on. right. Yeah, Eva Marie has had a, a malfunction. They do, they do that with that one girl, Emma. That's right. Oh, Emma's back now, though. Again. Thank <laughs> God. Yeah, but she's badass, Emma. You know, it's, I hope it works out for her. Yes, I love She had her that. demons, you know. She she fed the Yeah, Emma's back on SmackDown. Yeah. What a good fucking roster. I'm excited to see, I mean, it's not main roster, but Ruby Riot. Yeah. And NXT. Yeah, that last show, we saw Ruby Riot, Princess Kimberly, and the girl from Total Divas. Yeah. We saw at least three future women's champions. Uh, and a six-woman match. Nice. And in Maroon. And Ember Moon, that's right. I apologize for. Okay. God, I love Ember Moon. She is bad ass. <laughs> and, and I was watching a video and they pointed out that Ember Moon never got to use the Eclipse at the NXT pay-per-view. That's interesting because they're protecting it. That's going to be the thing that takes down Asuka. Because oh, okay. Asuka's okay. so afraid of it that she used the referee to protect herself from it. Right. So oh. when Ember finally hits it, that's it. You know. Makes sense. Okay. That's that's good booking. Yeah. 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 Love yeah. it. That's great. What do y'all think about Natalia? What's what y'all think gonna happen with her? She's gotta be on her way out, right? Uh, yeah. I don't. You think they gonna give her a tiny bit of push? Cause she they trying to make her a heel, and it it works a little bit for her. The jealous thing she did with the one the one of the Bellas was I thought was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I agree with you on that. I hated it. Yeah, that but was a heel right there. Them beating the hell out of each other was pretty cool. Yeah, but it was it's the the reason. I what was the reason? Jealousy. Oh, because she's popular. Yeah, she she, right. she she used that John Cena to help the Bella girl get to where she at now. Yeah, <clears throat> that's why she did that and all that stuff. Yeah, and then when she goes to the merch table and like she doesn't have a T-shirt up, I'm like, this is the stupid. and she was saying like, screw my uncle, I hate my uncle or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is. Super I sweet. think it's almost about time for her to, you know, hang up the boots. She's got to do something. Natalia has always struck me, and her character is like a wrestling fan who's an okay wrestler. It's like that's how her promos are. She's just not. I want to like her because she is decent in the ring. Right. She's not. I mean, God, now you put her up against somebody like Alexa or Naomi yeah. or Bailey, it's like, oh, you actually suck. Yeah, didn't realize. Yeah. The one thing with the with the women is I think that Total Diva show is exposing too much. No, I don't think so. You know, it's like now you see like you know, Natalia do this and do uh, that. Yeah, and all right, I see what you're saying. So you, you saw them going with that now. It's like okay, I remember. You see, this. Elena ain't a fucking Russian. She's from you know she's from here. Yeah, that's fine though. You know, but, but Natalia is like a dumb, just she's so. I don't know, it's just certain things that, like, a, she, oh, she lives God. in her own little world. Yeah, yeah, I give you that. I give you that. She, she gonna, if they don't push her, she gonna be gone. But she might not because of Soul Divas. Because she is, like, main character on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I give you that one. Mickey Jane coming back, that was shocking. That was cool. That was shocking. You She'll know, stick around for a little while. I, I, I like to see yeah. the old women come back and show these young girls how I to I mean, it's just like, you know, with, if they, can. And if, if they can. If they can. You're exactly can, right. Yeah. You're exactly right. I'll let her see Lena come back. I don't think she can. You don't think she can? I, I think because of her neck injury. Yeah, good yeah that's why good she's point. always on She's always on the pre-show. Right. I'm sure she would love to, but yeah, I think she's probably too injured. Uh, yep. Lena's back and the Hardys are back. Yeah. I awesome. saw a man. <laughs> Look here. I saw a man. They had Matt Hardy with his girl and the kid. Then they yeah. had Edge with Beth Phoenix and their kid. Then they just had Lita looking like this. Edge is married to Beth Phoenix? Yeah. Yeah, they got a kid together. I didn't know that. But they've been together for a while. The Matt Hardy's Before wife. Before Lita or after Lita? After. Oh. Uh, Matt Hardy's wife might be the hottest woman in wrestling. Uh, yeah. 
I love Reedy. She is so, banging. I was a fan of hers before Matt. They was saying, I read something, they was talking about uh, CM Punk wife coming back. Nah, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen? I don't think so. Okay. I can't remember when. AJ Lee? Yeah. No, I know who she is. I don't think she's coming back. You don't think she's coming back? No. Not until things get better with Punk. Yeah. You think he's ever going to come back? Yep. He'll come back, but I mean. I think it'd be whatever. good for WWE if he does. Mm hmm. What's uh, Matt Hardy's wife's name? Reedy Hardy or Reedy Sky? Reedy? R E B Y. Did, did y'all ever see pics of uh, Nia Jax before wrestling? No. Good. Not that girl look good. Is this becoming like the uh, what Divas are hot podcast? Nia Jax that. still looks amazing. She looked good, but boy, but I'll tell you what, she wasn't that big though back in the day. Right. They made her put pounds on it. Good. I don't think I, 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 that was almost my goddamn screensaver. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. She's mighty fine. I think Nia's gorgeous. I'll let her sit him up. No, stop. But, uh. <laughs> You're being recorded! <laughs> so. Oh, man. You know, it's just. The girl, the women wrestling, they, they starting to make a turnaround from what it was in the past. Yeah. They're gorgeous which, and they're incredible in the ring. Which which is a good thing. Yeah. And what NXT got now will make it even better. Yeah. Will make it even better. Oh, yeah. Did you, you find her? Yeah. Yeah. He, he never says. <laughs> he just throws it down. No, I, I mean, there was some pictures that came off that were, uh, my, my safe search is off, apparently. <laughs> <coughs> well, let me look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they list her as a model first, so they oh. list her as a wrestler first. Right. Well, she hasn't wrestled in quite a while. Yeah, and you know what's happening with her dad now? What? Her dad is. Um, I mean, did you watch all the broken stuff on TNA? Not really. There, but they had their gardener or whatever. Did you see that? Uh, I can't remember his name. He was like a character in the whole. It's broken. Senor Benjamin. Yes, right? Senor yeah. Benjamin. Yeah. Like Senor Benjamin, prepare the battlefield. <laughs> I, I saw that exact one. <laughs> yeah, Senor Benjamin is her dad. Oh, okay. Now TNA is saying we own him, basically. We own <laughs> Who owns Senor TNA? Benjamin kid. <laughs> Anthem. What is that? Isn't Jeff Jarrett Fuck that like part owner now? Fuck that. I thought he I took off. Know. I thought he got rid of that. I thought, well, I he, thought he, came he back. started Global Force Wrestling. Was like, what happened guys, with we're gonna do something amazing. This is gonna be different. We're gonna use all the TNA wrestlers and the TNA. Ring and go to a baseball stadium. I think it's just TNA. I think they have the Global Force belt defended at TNA. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait. I remember when you know, they made a big deal about that Global Force shit. And it, yeah, but it la- and then they started selling gold. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. sad. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know yeah, like those TV gimmicks you see yeah. where they're like, find this much gold. It was Jeff Jarrett doing that. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, I don't know if you're talking about the year. I think Vince McMahon going to buy TNA. No, I think he's just going to go to business. Yeah. Maybe he'll buy the tape library. Do you think it'd be a good thing if he did buy TNA? I don't think it matters. Yeah, like I think, like you just said, I think he might buy the product. You know, buy tape the library. library yeah. And just right. kill the kill the brand, just like he did with everything else. Just yeah. consume it. Just monopolize it. Yeah, that's true. Consume that's true. it. Yeah, but no one cares about TNA. Which is sad, you know. I want to. I've watched it, and I like the wrestlers. It's just, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I, don't still, think I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck yeah. that elf. I don't I don't think think that elf. Like, yeah, like I love. Like I've been a TNA. Like I've liked TNA from you know day one. Back when they when they first had the square ring. And then they the went red to the and yellow ring. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then they went to the six sided. Then I think they switched again. Yeah, yeah. They went back to the square. Yeah, and now they have the six sided again, which I love. Apparently, wrestlers hate that. Yeah, I was gonna say wrestlers hate it. Apparently, I can imagine though, man, you really know? difficult. Because like, did you ever stand on the turnbuckle? Yeah. You you standing? Yeah. With the six sided ring, you have to stand like this. Yeah, it's, it's more your complicated. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I just you know, fuck a tag team match. You don't know what side you gonna fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> I I just I could see somebody running, thinking it's gonna be a rope and hitting the turnbuckle. Oh, good night. Oh, I'm sure that's happened. Yeah. Wait, can you imagine you're going to run the ropes and you hit the turnbuckle? (laughs) That would suck. Kudos to them who fighting that that ring, man, because that shit's hard. I mean, Triple A in Mexico. 
still has six hundred. That's just messing yeah. so they can do with that stuff. <laughs> Uh, I don't think CMLL is six sided. I think they have a four sided. Because I think no there's like, there's the one that had like the big Corona thing in the middle. What's the mistaken. What's the Lucha Libre promotion? Lucha Underground. Do you think they gonna make a you know make an impact in professional wrestling? They already have. You See, they gonna get bigger. And the yeah. thing yeah. the thing with them is is they're like uh like a TV show. Yeah. Like, right there on that. Have you watched it? I wa- yeah, I, I watched okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, you watch season one and season two. Like, it's not like, it's not like WWE where you, it's oh, like, yeah. I love to watch, you know, last week's SmackDown. Right, right. They, they got like a, a daytime soap opera kind of feel to it. Yeah, yeah. a yeah. telenovela. Like, right. the Mexican soap opera. Right, right. Yeah. It was just fun. Like, it's something different. Yeah, I like it. I love, like, the, the... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. The drama? Not the drama, just the... The way it like, takes you in. Come on, fill the dead air. Christ, what? What about the, the wrestling? Word. We got a lot of the dead The word that I'm looking for. I don't know. Like, uh, the supernatural part of it. Oh, like, okay. The the fighting spirit. The very, like, unrealistic... Yeah, like, I, I haven't gotten super far. I don't know how unrealistic it gets. Right. But, like, I like the fact that it's, like, a, it's like it's supposed to be a Aztec. Well, I saw like, some episode that some serial killer type dude has got, I think, a sexy star kidnapped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell's going on? That's not out of the question, though. I mean, now, it's crazy. Don't get me wrong. It's fucking nuts. Now, with that, do you think they're going to keep it that small, or do you think they're going to expand into bigger arenas and travel? Oh. Uh, I don't know. It's a production company doing it, so I think they're going to stay that small. Stick with that. Yeah. Call it TNA. Robert Rodriguez is producing it. He's a super smart dude. I think it's, he'll keep it small. I was watching it the other day, and I was like, you know what this reminds me of, but done right? Was, I think they also called this WXW when MTV tried to have an, a wrestling yeah. show. Oh, yeah. Remember I remember that? that. Yeah. That's yeah. like this. That was also Vampiro and Conan, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. We're heavily involved in that. Yeah. Yeah, Conan, yeah. And uh, <laughs> they had some good fucking wrestlers in there. They had Jack yeah, Jacobs and Seth Rollins. Jack Evans. Jack Evans. They had uh, one of my favorites, Matt Classic. Just black trunks, black mask. He wore a black, like... Cole Wind, beer. Yes, it was Cole Cabana. Oh, okay. And Cole he was, Cabana was on the MTV show? Yeah, he was Matt Classic, though. Huh. Just a stand, like, real generic-looking black mask, luchador, like, old-school luchador style. Like, they always showed him doing, like, the real old-school workouts and stuff. And just, it was super classic. Cole Cabana's the best. Are you familiar with Cole Cabana? Oh, Cole yeah. Cabana. Did you ever see the video of uh, he couldn't body slam somebody? Yeah. Like give him a dollar. Mm. <laughs> God damn it! What? Okay, I just watched. Um, it was Cole uh, handicap match. Cole Cabana versus the boys. Please send me this because I can't really find it. Okay, Cole Cabana versus the boys. Do you know the boys? Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle and the boys. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like oh. the way you say the boys. The boys. <laughs> the boys. Uh, I, I I can act with him. We're both peacocks. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Cole Cabana. He just keeps picking the boys up and just body slam. Just body slam. And then right. get back up, he's body slam the other one. Get back up, body slam the other one. At one point, he goes, they're so light! As he, like, <laughs> body slams them, like, three more times. <laughs> and then, like, he picks one up, and the the boy, one of the boys, is, like, posting. You know, like, you're supposed to. You put your hand on the other guy mm-hmm. so you're, like, leveled out. But the he put his hand kind of in the oh, like, crotch area. And Colt just grabs his hand and moves it over, and then bad body slams him again. <laughs> Do you want to see Colt Cabana in WWE? He was already there. Oh, yeah. Scotty Goldman. Yeah. Super again. Jewish. Do you think <laughs> we'll see again. Colt Cabana again? Um, no. I don't think so. I hope he goes there as a commentator one day. Oh, yeah, this commentator would be in. Have you ever watched Five Dollar Wrestling? Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, though. Oh, No. I mean, five dollar wrestling is so fucking funny. Oh, What's the champion's name or the guy that was the champion? Oh, something train. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? I love watching his promos. But I liked watching the when they would watch crappy wrestling matches and commentate over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. 
I one of my watching five dollar wrestling. One of my favorite uh, little promo skit things was El Generico and Cole Cabana. Like they would go around like, as if they were like in a strip club, but they were watching like people like mopping the floors or like working out, right. and they're just throwing dollar bills at them, just throwing dollar bills, like freaking out, hand down their pants, flipping the hat around, just losing their shit watching people do like normal everyday stuff. And they go in, like, the women's locker room, and, like, there's women coming out of the shower, and they're just standing there looking at them, head cocked to the side, just looking at each other, like, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't know. It's weird. (laughs) 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 But speaking of best promos ever, uh, Paul London and uh, Brian Daniel. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. Join. That was awesome. I don't want, we don't want you to clap, we want you to buzz. Join the buzz. Oh, and they're laughing their was, ass off. That There's, was freaking hilarious, dude. That's the funniest promo I've seen in my entire life. Yeah, that was, that was hilarious. <laughs> and that, you know, that's good stuff right there. I think that was PWG. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. And that, that's good wrestling right there. That, that's when they're having fun. That's when, yeah. Know, they, can, they can be free and they stuff and, you know, don't get punished for doing it. But yeah, Brian Daniels and er, Daniel Bryan always looks like he's about to laugh anyway, though. No, of course, of course. Yeah, do you guys notice he's a that? Looking motherfucker, oh, yeah. anyway. You know? yeah, like, he's always got that. I'm about to laugh one. Yeah. <laughs> he's from Washington. What do you expect? Yeah. Aberdeen. Is he from <laughs> yeah. Aberdeen, Washington? Yeah. Mountain boy. I love when Rich Swan would go to PWG and they would say, "Oh, night on oh, to him." Yeah. <laughs> and I can't remember. Uh, it was oh my god, the Kentucky gentleman Chuck. What's the name of the shoes? Taylor? Chuck Taylor. He, I'm pretty sure it was him. He had this chance, and it was like the longest chant. It was like a paragraph <laughs> long, and it was like different clapping beats. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's so Chuck Taylor so would good. do. Yeah. My favorite thing I've ever seen from Chuck Taylor is when he would scream at children. Yeah, have you seen that? I haven't seen that. Oh, my God. And there'd be like little like six, eight, ten year olds in the audience. Uh-huh. An indie show, so there's no barricades or anything. Right. But he'd be walking past them, just turn around, just skit in their face and just scream. In the one video, the dad comes out and Chuck goes, ah, and scream. <laughs> That's Chuck Taylor's thing is he screams. He's, right. Like, like a girl. Right. Yeah. Right. And when he would get like chops and stuff in the rings. Ah! <laughs> oh, so boy. funny. Did you ever see Chuck Taylor do to me? No. <laughs> But I, I could see there. him with Dalton Castle as a peacock because he does kind of sound like a peacock when he slaps. I would like to see that tag team. Let's make it happen. Yeah. How are we going to make we're, it happen? Because we're in Tallinn. We're like, hey, <laughs> yeah, Dalton Castle, Chuck Taylor, you guys are a tag team. All now. Twitter's going to be like, hey, the future heels were like, hey, you guys should be a tag team. Yeah, Lord, everyone. Rich. Everyone's going to tweet them. It's going to happen. Yeah, do it. Do it. Everyone on Twitter, tweet them. Let them know. It'll like, just be me. Guys, you don't need Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a what you need to, I'm on Twitter, man. I need to be. You do need to be. Yeah. Uh, you and Bob, I'm trying to get on Twitter. Start promoting us and ourselves. Yeah. But I feel like that's the only reason to be on Twitter. So? And I wrote that. But you, that's how it'll start. And then, because that's how I started, just to promote my channel that I started using. I, I got on Twitter to be and communicate around other cultures and culture networks. Sure. You know, and you can do the same thing with this. Yeah. That's what a lot of rap like. Dude, that's why I go on during the pay per views and I talk shit to everybody. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The one thing, you know, that bugs me, and I'm going off topic a little bit, but it's just in the back of my mind, and I need to say it. That's that's pissed me off with WWE. Is I don't think they're giving the right wrestlers the right push. Oh yeah. Who, are you, who would you rather see push? Cesaro. Yeah? The man deserves it. Guy, like every, it seems like every uh, like veteran, every guy says that. He deserves it. Yeah? Clearly, he, he's strong as an ox. He's, yeah. You know, I, I went to an event, and he picked the great Conley up with no help. No help. That's crazy. And, he, you know, he, the man, he been through hell and back. He got hurt, and he went down to NXT and paid his dues. Right. He got better. And they, you know, what him and Sheamus do right now is, is freaking cool. I love it. You know, great tag team. But, you know, I think he deserves to get pushed. Yeah. You know. Did you ever watch Sheamus and Cesaro's best three out of five or yeah. whatever? That yeah. was really that good. That was good. That was good. That was a lot of fun. That man's a good technical wrestler. 
Yeah. He's in great shape. But and, and the, the excuse I hear and I hate is he's not great on the mic. So like, have you yeah, met well, Roman Reigns? Sure. Yeah. You know what? Like, I think he's, I, mean, I don't think he's bad. Like, he's I don't think he's bad. Like, I can't really think of any good promos of his. Well, at least. But I, also, they don't think they let him. Yeah. As, I know it's Claudio Castagnoli. I mean, I loved his, I loved his promos as Claudio. Right. Right. Because right. he would end them, he would always end them with, because I'm very European. Yeah. Like, I wanted Why him to Why don't they just bring that, that back? I don't know. That's such a, like, dumb, simple thing. Yeah. I, I think, you know, after him and Sheamus, if they ever break up, which I hope, you know, they, you know, they're doing a fabulous job with show. But if they ever break up, I think they need to go back to old school Cesaro, even before he became that Paul Heyman guy. Right. Bring his old music back out, the, the Swiss logo on Titan Tron and... They only will do that. I, I, mean, I wish they would, because that was when he would just fucking I like hate people. the siren. I hate that, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it it, first of all, like I said, I got warrants. I don't know if it's for real. Do I need to fucking run? I ain't got warrants. I'm just playing. But uh, that siren <laughs> is fucking stupid. But, I mean, it's fine if it was, like, the big boss man. Right. Sure, have a siren. The boss man didn't even have a fucking siren. No. <laughs> then why why yeah, did this Cesaro... That's not a Swiss thing. Look at Swiss yeah. Superman. Superman don't got no fucking sirens and shit. Yeah, you know? I don't get it. His yeah, music's no, fine. No. I think his music's the cool. The siren just, it just it throws me off a little bit, you know? I feel like, you know, a lot of great entrance music has that, like, Finn has the heartbeat. Roman has a... There's that beginning bit that lets you go, ooh, so, someone's coming out. Right, yeah, right. They don't have that for Cesaro. No. So they just stuck a fucking like the, siren. This old music, it just doom, 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 doom. It was like, it had the big bass in it, and you had the little switch. I'd have to go rapping. back and listen to it. I, I fucking listened to it the other day, and it's like, this was this shit actually sound badass. Because huh. it matched him walking to the ring. He had that swag to him. Hold his hands up, pa pa pa. You know, I had yeah. that swag to him and shit. It was his shit. That's where he from. And he came out there and beat the shit out of you. Yeah. The man deserves a fucking push. They at least got to make him, like, Intercontinental Champion or... You know, it's like... I don't even know if he... he I, I think he was Intercontinental one, at one point. Probably. Was it? I hope he's... I hope so. I'm I'm done with Dean Ambrose being Intercontinental Champion. They don't really... You know, the match with Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania... Corbin? It wasn't even that loud, you know? Yeah, I guess the match, I haven't watched it yet, but the match they had at SmackDown was way better. It was like a hardcore match yeah. or something. That match, yeah, that was you know, a badass match. That match at WrestleMania was kind of dead a little bit, you know what I mean? It's like, you know if I it's think, a good match. I think Ambrose is dead a little bit. I think he, you know, I think he He's gone know, real stale. I think he, they need to do something else with him. I, I mean, I like the changes they made, but I mean, you can only do something for so long. You only yeah. keep doing the same exact thing. I feel like he's lunatic fringe in name only. Like he's he's a crazy guy just because he's well yeah that's his thing. I like that he's not as crazy though. Like I hated when he was like my dad beat me. Uh, Boo hoo. Um, what was that? CZ. What was it called? Uh, oh, CZW. He was uh, John C- Moxley. John Moxley. Oh, that's right. That's right. And FIP. He won the uh, oh, yeah, Jeff yeah. Peterson Cup. For right. FIP right, with John right. Moxley. You were right. Um, but yeah, like when he first did the lunatic fringe, unstable. Uh, he would. I, I swear I heard him doing a promo about how his dad beat him. He did that with John Moxley. That's why I brought it up. Yeah, he did that back in the day. I didn't think John Moxley was that character. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I, I don't know, but I hated it. I hated when he was like his completely made up mental issues. Now he's just like, I'm a sarcastic asshole. Yeah. I like that much better. Huh. Because it's not like uh, like he's not, like he's not saying there's something wrong with him. He's just like, yeah, I'm a jerk. Fuck you. Yeah, but the thing is exactly what Stone Cold told him on his podcast. Like he needs to do something. He needs to get that fire under his ass. Cause he yeah. doesn't. He seems like he's just coasting right now. And with when you win the title, I have a feeling it's hard not to do that. Like it's hard to do something else when what you're doing is worked and you're there. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, he needs to do something. But I think it's probably really hard. What else he and do? He they, need, they have to tell him what to do as well. He can't just be like, I'm going to do this. I mean, he could pitch the idea, I'm sure. Yeah, right? you got a point right there, buddy. You I mean, I think it's, this. like, for me, I feel like The Miz should have just kept the belt. Because The Miz was doing such an awesome thing. 
you know, like whenever he cut that promo on Daniel Bryan, he was like, you know, you focus on the belt. Like, I, this is day 184 of the never ending Intercontinental Championship reign because I'm bringing this belt back. Like, that was fucking awesome. I love that shit. He's like, I am making this belt important again. And here you go, Dean. And Dean's like, I got the belt, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it feels like to me, Dean. Yeah. Like, it's quiet. You know, it, yeah. nobody, nobody talks about the Intercontinental Champion no more. Because it's. It's like, it's non existent. I want Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin should have won at WrestleMania. And he should. No one should be able to beat him for a long time. Corbin needs a gimmick like that. He needs to be the guy that no one can beat. He's a hell of a wrestler. He needs, yeah, but he's. I still think he's missing that. It. But that's what that's what it could be. Right. It could be, yeah, a lengthy title. Like that that thing that he it. did where he threw the security guard at Dean and then beat the hell out of him with a lead pipe. That was <laughs> badass. Yeah, and apparently is. parked the forklift. Oh off yeah, that's off? right. Yeah. yeah. That was. I missed that the first time around. What, what that, a crazy motherfucker. What? What did that bring you back when you parked that four left? Rockin' Mankind? Yeah. <laughs> I got up and clapped on that one. That was pretty yeah. good. That was pretty yeah, good. I, I love Baron Corbin. I think he's going to be a big thing. Oh. You know who I think? They, go ahead, Brian. Because you were just saying, someone was just saying that they're tired of the IC belt. Yeah. Well, what if, what if that's a common consensus among people? And these two, that belt ends up getting broken in a match. And then taped back together. It won't happen. It's never going to happen, but what if it did? It'd be cool. It'd be cool. Hmm. The IC belt would be the new hardcore belt. I think it'd be kind of neat. Yeah, no, I'm all for that. And the white strap gets, like, real dirty and stuff. Yeah. Or bloody. Or bloody, yeah. I think it'd be kind of cool. It's never going to happen, but... What would y'all think about if they did bring back the hardcore belt? Oh, I'd love it. They just... They wouldn't. Because it's so... It's too... I mean... It seems like they have, and they've been talking talks about them getting away from the strictly PG. Right. And I think they should do that. Because I think that the PG fans are getting older now, so they can kind of keep them and reach for the people who went away. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they should. Yeah. I, mean, I, I would love it. I think they need to spice it back up a little bit. Yeah, it's, wrestling's not a G-rated product. I mean, it can be. Right, but, it's PG. Oh, either way. <laughs> they need to put a 13 or something back beside that shit. Make something, it, you know, yeah. Just just make it a little edgier. Like, I don't understand why they got rid of chair shots and stuff. Concussions. Yeah, yeah concussion. Has, but, you know, bring them back, but just don't hit them. Just, you know, they, don't hit us in the head. Who's really, getting hit by a chair at WrestleMania? But that's just WrestleMania. Of course you're going to see that yeah. WrestleMania. You know, do it like bring back table match, bring back stuff that you know. Stephanie went through a table. Yeah, yeah that was just yeah. funny. Yeah, I was laughing so hard. Oh yeah, we were gonna go over WrestleMania. We oh, went off on a way know. tangent, so I don't have yeah, to. Yeah, we were going up in freaking Miami. Good grief. Yeah. <laughs> but one more thing, then we'll go back. But uh, sitting here thinking and watching, I personally think Braun Strowman is gonna get screwed soon. Yeah? I don't think they used him right. I thought it was weird when he came out during Brock Lesnar's promo and was like, and then left and was like, on my time. What does that even mean? I, th- I think I think they ain't going to use him right. That they, dude is big. Yeah. He's they know how to use monsters, though. I just, with him, I don't think they're going to use him right. I think they're going to lead him down the wrong path and going to be another right back. I hope. Could be. You know what I mean? It just, right back was awesome. Right. You know, he right back had the physique Vince man like. Yeah. He was stupid, crazy. He had a good personality. Like, he did good promos. He did. Now look at him. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing now. Talking shit. I think but, he's uh, doing a <laughs> I know that's what he is doing. He's talking shit. He's talking a lot of shit. I, just, I, I love, I'm a big fan of Braun Strowman. You know, you know, because of his size and. He just I gets in the him. ring. The more I see him, I like him. Yeah, you know, it just you just want him to beat the shit out of somebody. He should have won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle. He should have. Baron Corbin won it his first time. Yeah, I'm, I don't mind Mojo winning it as long as they do something with Mojo. Because I They're like not going to do nothing with Mojo. I, don't, I think Mojo going to fade away again in Margaritaville. They ain't going to do shit with him. What, what, what can Mojo do to make his product better? Go even crazier? That's what they had. Darren Draws talking. Look at that bitch. He paralyzed. Who's that? 
Puke. Draws. Oh, draws. <laughs> you know, he paralyzed. He was kind of yeah. like Mojo back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's fucking riding around a fucking motorized vehicle yeah. for the rest of his life. I, I don't think they can do anything with Mojo. No disrespect to the man. He's got to have the best cardio in the business. I say that. Oh, it's on a bitch. Yes, I do. Good grief, man. If they can put him on TV more and actually try and use him. It's like you watch him on SmackDown, he's like dead. You know, it's like dead in the arena when he gets in there. It's like his mom and dad are on cheering for him in the stand. You know, yeah, stuff. sometimes your characters just don't get over. Like like we were talking about with uh, like Tyler Blake Breeze. You know? Yeah. Yeah, good you know, that's a great gimmick. I love the gimmick. I hate, I mean, I hate the gimmick, but I love to hate the gimmick. Yeah. You know? Like, it just worked on NXT and ain't gonna work on a big dog. Yeah, no, but it could. It, it could. It, it should work yeah. on you know the main roster. That's where right. it should work. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Just people didn't bite. That's wrestling. That's life. Yeah, that's how it goes. You come and go. Just like this episode is going. Because that's the end, guys. We are out of here. This, this is a long one. This is a good one, though. I enjoy it, man. You gotta you gotta come for more episodes, Brooks. You know what? And y'all gotta come to Orlando. Yeah. And let's do this in Orlando around wrestlers, you know, around wrestling fans. You know, because a lot of people watch pay per views at bars and stuff and at their houses. They have parties. Why not do one of them? Probably too many people talking at once. Well, you know, we can. Yeah. You know, this is a good thing. I really appreciate, you know, y'all let me join y'all. It's, it's oh, awesome. Yeah. I love this stuff. I love y'all. And y'all, you know, this is a great thing y'all doing. Y'all doing things the right way for wrestling. You know. Thank you. We're trying. Yeah. Trying. Y'all ain't trying to, y'all doing it. Yeah. Trying. What people doing, trying ain't working, but when people do it, it works. And so, y'all doing a great thing. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to come back. I'm yeah. definitely going to come back. Awesome. We're going to talk more and stuff. You know, if I got to come back every Sunday, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're more than welcome. <laughs> We're here. You can be the third host. Hey, much hell yeah. Is. I'm in. When we got Brooks now. We got to get Lance. Yep. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the four of us going in? Oh, God, we'll be It'd be so good. Four yeah. hours. Yeah, that, that's okay. That's like four episodes. We put Rob to shame. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Rob, we see your three hours. We yeah. Four. yeah. We raise you. Boom. So, yeah, guys, that's it. That's the Future Heels podcast. You can find us at futurevillains.com. That's few true villains, not future. Brooks line of future. My bad. I thought it was future when you first told oh, it to God. me. Oh, God. See, we're going to have to work on that. FTV. Back to the future. When you when you were like, let's do, let's do this thing, future villains. I'm like, future villains? Okay, we'll be future. We're, we're building up to being villains. Gotcha. <laughs> nope, that's not what we are. <laughs> and we're true. And we're villains. That's right. That's how we're going to have to do it now. We're that's few it. and we're true. You're right. That's, that's absolutely true. That's it. You can find us at the few... No, that, that's, that's the wrong URL. FewTrueVillains.com You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on SoundCloud and YouTube. You can find me at Best in the Realm on Twitter. Best in the Realm Gaming on Facebook. Best in the Realm on YouTube. Best in the Realm on Twitch. I'm, I'm everywhere, I guess. You are on Twitter, Brian. Uh, I'm at Brianman25 on Twitter. Brianman1138 on Instagram. Uh, Nerdy Bryman on YouTube, which is also on the Future oh, Villain right. website. And um, I'll try to use Twitter more. And Brooks, you got Twitter? I have a Twitter. It's JeremyBrooks42. You know, look me up on there. And I, I forgot to say the first time. I got an Instagram, too. It's J, JBrooks42, I think it was. There you go. Y'all look me up on that. Am I following you on Instagram? And stuff. I should. Yeah. Actually, I use Instagram a lot. So yeah, I, like, I thought you know, I would. As of now, I will put true, true villains on my Twitter interlude and all that stuff. And Absolutely. Let's get this exposed and get it out there and make the product better. Yeah, man. And, and we've got two new partners at Future Villains as well. we got Random Grenades, my fiance. She's going to be making Let's Plays. I'm trying to get her to make some more content. And uh, there's a lot of content on the way from myself and Bearded Gaming Entertainment. We're going to be doing Let's Plays for Hearthstone, Diablo, I do. Planet Side. What's that? I do follow Jeremy. Okay. I, feel better, huh? I hope I do too. But uh, yeah, so that's it. This has been the Future Heels podcast with Jeremy, the coach, not Coachman Brooks. The best coach in the East. Brian, Brian, Man Peacock, myself, Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. Let's stop. And let us know what you think about our new intro.